Uh, next, we will be hearing from Ali Twilila uh, Ziani, uh, pardon, Ziani, who is a first year PhD student at Yale University from Casablanca, Morocco. After completing his bilingual international baccalaureate at the United World College in Maastricht in the Netherlands, he graduated from Earlham College in 2021 with a BA in history with college and departmental honors. His interests include intellectual and cultural history, francophone cultural production, post-colonial theory, and popular culture. His graduate work is oriented toward understanding the banlieue as a locus of an imagined community where a new ethical order and imagination are at work through cultural production, foremost rap. And so uh, Ali's paper today is entitled Puisque l'on faire c'est les autres, pourquoi vouloir faire comme les autres? Rap and the deconstruction of French universalism. Thank you for the, the great introduction and, and thank you everyone for your, your great talk. It's, a, it's really an honor to, to be here with you all. Um, in his posthumous album, Adios Bahamas, the late Clément Difior, who was better known under his stage name Nepal, sings the following words in the chorus of his track Sundance. Tout ça c'est les autres, on va laisser ça aux autres. Puisque l'enfer c'est les autres, pourquoi vouloir faire comme les autres? Appropriating Jean-Paul Sartre's famous, friends in, f famous phrase in Riclos, Nepal expresses an idea that runs through a whole generation of French rappers who emerged in, in the 2010s. A clear refusal to position themselves in relation to the discourse that the French Republic imposes, a refusal to conform to the rhetoric of, Republic, of Republican values. This new generation of rappers, of which Nepal was a major element before his passing in 2019, marks a break with the generations that came before it. Thus, unlike the rappers who preceded them, these rappers no longer sought to integrate nor belong as per the Republican diktat, but attempt to imagine in rap an idiosyncratic identity. Rappers such as Nepal, PNL, members of l'entourage, have from the beginning of their careers refused to lend themselves to the Republican vocabulary to write their, their lyrics. Unlike the rappers of the 1990s and early 2000s, such as Mehdi, Yusufa, or Kerry James that Paroma and uh, Melanie beautifully uh, presented, who tried like, to negotiate their identities as children of immigrants in parallel with their French identities, these rappers did not attempt to think of a plural identity, true and only true, the pillars of the French Republican discourse. The rappers, of this new the rappers of this new generation refused to submit to the debate on their belonging to France and to the questions of their relationship to secularism and French universalism. The rap of Alpha One, Nekfeu, Penel and, other, and others sketches avenues of thoughts and modes of being that escape the French exclusionary universalism. Their investment in writing and performing rap texts for and in front of others allows them to metonymically pose the question of alterity and difference. This presentation attempts to shed light on the break between them and those who have preceded them, attempting to see in this new, to see, uh, uh, in this, this new generation as engaged in thinking difference non-hierarchically and reimagining the being in common that John Scott and Jean-Luc Nancy prescribed as a remedy to the fault lines of the Republican program. So we'll first try to examine what I consider to be the rap currents that were prevailing in the French hip-hop scene before. Uh, so before the emergence of this generation in 2010s, the French rap scene was mainly divided between two currents of rappers who expressed the relationship to the Republic in radically opposed ways. As uh, Jeannette Jouilly has explained, these two currents can be represented through the antithetical figures of Medine on one side and Abdel Malik on the other side. Medine and Abdel Malik are two Muslim rappers who have had two different statuses in the French media and political landscape. Medin was and is still continually, continually attacked in court and by French senators and deputies for his provocative lyrics and his embodiment of an Islam that challenges the law of laicity. Abdel Malik, on the other hand, was greatly celebrated in French media for his teachings of a Sufi Islam in his rap songs, an Islam that is considered to be compatible with values of the Republic. 
we'll try and uh, to look at like both figures to, to see what opposes them in uh, uh, as like this these two currents are like growing up. The the current that can be associated with Medin, but also with the Muslim rappers such as Yusufa and Kerry James, embody a branch that is very critical of French Republican values, but which at the same time claims to be inherently French. Thus, these, rapper, these, these rappers, through their text, denounce the Republican model of integration and question the principles of laicity, while always positioning themselves as French citizens. Medin, putting forward his Muslim identity, constantly tries to provoke by denouncing the discrimination made against Muslims like him under the cover of the law of laicité. His song, Don't Like, proposed a virulent criticism of the hypocrisy of laicité and its supposed role as a bearer of religious freedom. Through the chorus of the song, Don't Like, he says, Ta barbe rebeu, dans ce pays c'est Don't Like, ton voile ma sœur, dans ce pays c'est Don't Like, ta foi Renoir, dans ce pays c'est Don't Like, Medin denounces the absence of tolerance of laicity. He denounces the constant attacks to Islam made by pro-secular politicians and tries to create a counter-critique underlining the consequent intolerance of the application of laicity. Medin criticizes the common assumption made by politicians in the Assemblée Nationale during the law banning the veil in public institutions where Islam was described as a religion of proselytism. He shifts, the, he shifts the blame to the pro-laïque, saying that les élites sont les prosélytes des propagandistes ultra-laïques. Medin attempts to denounce the way in which those who support the Republican position receive a great deal of media attention and are celebrated while the opponents of laïcité are silenced and often censored. He proposes a revolt against this order in a very provocative way, in, in a very pro, and in a very pro, provocative way, calls for the crucifixion of uh, the, the laïca. Um, however, Medin, very much like Kerry James and Yusufa, despite his virulent criticism of Republican ideals, admits to feeling profoundly French. The song Don't Like music video thus offers a parallel between the symbols of the Republic and those of Islam. As Jouili has explained, Medin speaks as a French, citizens, a French citizen who wants to build a better future for France. As uh, Lara Dotson Renta has explained uh, uh, as well, through their rap songs, the rappers Medin, Kerry James, and Yusufa push the envelope of the French ideals of, li of liberté, égalité, and fraternité, at once denouncing the inconsistent application of these ideals with regard to France versus others, while simul simultaneously claiming a tenuous belonging and stake in the French national project. Medin, like Kerry James and Yusufa, therefore do not dissociate himself from his French identity and even seek to inscribe himself in the tradition of French cultural production. Thus, he often says that he is the heir of the long tradition of French protest, taking Georges Brassens and Renaud as his main inspirations. Uh, this current of rappers try to imagine a new plural identity where Islam would be compatible with laicité within the Republic, an identity where French universalism would accept uh, their difference. I propose, as a number of scholars have done before me, to oppose to this current of rappers the figure of Abdel Malik, a Muslim rapper who is considered a symbol of social success in the banlieue. Uh, Abdel Malik proposes a Sufi rap, to borrow Paul Silverstein's formula, in which he advocates the interfaith dialogue and claims to dissociate himself from the l'Islam rétrograde des banlieues. Abdel Malik, unlike Medin, Yusuf or Kerry James, does not see laïcité as inherently discriminatory, but rather sees the problem in the Islam des banlieues, which for him is not suitable for a notion of living together. Malik therefore proposes to immerse himself in Sufism in order to reimagine a true Islam that would be based on spirituality and that would be anchored in the private sphere. Thus he proposed his vision of, of religion saying, I quote, Religion should no longer be the potential enemy of the Republic, but its major ally. Religion lived in the private sphere, shared, questioned, discovered with others, so should become a school for peace. Our Republic must be strong on this count. In transition, to all, in transition to all attempts to appropriate or deviate from the sacrosanct rules of laicity. I unquote. Um, Malik's rap songs and his denunciation of what he calls the retrograde Islam of the banlieue earned him much acclaim under the president, uh, the president Nicolas Sarkozy. Indeed, he was made a Chevalier des Arts et des Lettres in 2008 and was described by the Minister of Culture at the time as a true poet with a sensitive and committed word. A particularly brilliant child of hip-hop culture who advocates a conscious and fraternal, fraternal, fraternal rap. Abdel Malik differs from the thinking of 
Medin in that the lyrics of his songs are rooted in Republican ideals and the discourse of laicité imposed by the state. Thus, during his speech after being made a chevalier des arts et des lettres, he declared, I quote, uh, symboliquement, ce qui se passe aujourd'hui me fait encore plus aimer mon pays. Un jour, ma mère m'a dit, aime la France, et la France t'aimera en retour. Je n'ai jamais oublié ça, vive la France. And like Medine, Malik often repeats his allegiance to France and Republican values while never challenging them. It is thus only by understanding the opposition between Abdel Malik and Medine that, that one can situate the third way that the emerging generation of rappers is yearning for. The generation of rappers that emerged in the 2010 has offered a real break with the discourse of rappers like Abdel Malik but also Medine. Thus, rappers like PNL, Nekfeu or Afawan no longer want to negotiate their French identity with, uh, within the Republic. Nekfeu's last album, Les Étoiles Vagabondes, uh, perfectly illustrates this refusal to limit oneself to the cosmology and the established discourse of the Republic. Nekfeu tries in Les, Étoiles in Les Étoiles Vagabondes to think beyond, to imagine a new episteme, distance from a discourse of opposition imposed by the political debate. Les Étoiles Vagabondes, by its title, records the, the title of the star rover of Jack London. Nekfeu, who cites London as one of his main inspiration in many of his albums, seems to be inspired by his, the, uh, the hero uh, Daryl Standing, a prisoner who tries to survive the torture of the prison institution by living other lives in his dreams. Nekfeu in Les Etoiles Vagabondes seems to be animated by the same desire to escape from the Republican structure. He does not try to think of, friend, uh, of, of friends that could accept uh, its immigrant subject as Yusufa Medina or Curry James did before him, but rather tries to find an escape from the secular religious binary imposed by the Republic. Throughout his album, Nekfeu attempts to imagine this escape from the, the oppressive condition in which, in which subjects of immigrant descent find themselves. Thus, uh, he invites his listener to the recurring metaphor of outer space to think beyond the imposed Republic discourse, Republican discourse. He plays with the homophony of the word allunisson, which both means to land on the moon and to work anonymously with one voice, to tell this, that this idiosyncratic identity is one to be built together, far away from the ongoing debates about what it means to be French. In the same way, Nepal in Adios Bahamas uh, includes a, a passage from Nassim Aramain in which he says, C'est important de ne pas devenir ce qu'on combat, c'est-à-dire on ne peut pas changer ce système en faisant ce que ce système a fait. Beyond this invitation to think beyond the Republican dichotomies, Nekfeu and Nepal propose a real alternative, uh, alternative way of thinking. Unlike Medin, who puts forward his Muslim identity to try to highlight the inequalities of laïcité, or Abdel Malik, who tries through Sufi Islam to imagine an Islam compatible with French universalism, the rappers of this new generation try to create an Islamic cosmology without ever claiming to be Muslim. They try to create a cosmology, a whole universe that would defy the assignation à résidence uh, in uh, Derrida's formulation. Thus, Nekfeu, Nepal, or even PNL introduce in their songs numerous references to the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad or the Quran without ever naming them as such. Therefore, what is crucial in what Nekfeu, Nepal, and the rappers of l'entourage are doing is that, they, they, uh, what in, is that what they do is disturbing uh, the idea of laïcité and secularization in general. The whole point of secularism is to define what is religion and what is not. By blurring the lines of what religion of what religion really is and what it can be assigned to, they unsettle, they unsettle the whole principle of laïcité and French universalism. Through their embodiment of a blurred and unrecognizable Muslim identity, they no longer constitute the exceptions that are that are essential for the survival of French universalism.